Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a improvement video, if you like, um, on Train Sim World 3, where I think the game could improve with stuff that I've written down. And before I start, I do not want to diss the game, diss developers, the um, Dovetail Game Development Team. I do not want to diss them because they've done a really amazing job so far. The game is best train sim world game on PlayStation and it's competing with even PC. So it's a very good game. Now, the reason why I've tagged um, Dovetail Games is because I've tried to email them, tried to message them on Facebook, uh, Instagram, they haven't come back to me. And so I just wanna try to tag them on here if I can and see what you can do about stuff I've written down. So we've got a list here. I'll just turn the camera around a sec. So that's the list that I've written down for the improvements to the game. So we'll go through, I am on Train Some World if I just unplug my phone a sec. So we are on Train Some World and we are on my PlayStation. So first thing, uh, says here more longer routes i.e. Plymouth to Cardiff, Edinburgh to Aberdeen, stuff like that. So what I mean by this is um, now that Trains in World 3 stuff like if I go into actually yeah choose route go into that one um, where is it like that that one there is 50 or 50 this 100 116 miles long uh, this one here that's roughly 160 miles long. So if they could, if you dovetail games could maybe make longer routes with that. Um, so even extending uh, West Cornwall local to, from Penzance to Plymouth, say, that would be really cool. I would love to see that. Um, as often I go from Penzance to Plymouth as I live in Penzance and to see a, such a short route, only Penzance to St. Austell, it's like, eh, I want to go further. So I would love to see that come to the game. Um, the, Edinburgh, the reason why I've put Edinburgh to Aberdeen, the Scottish route, is because um, steam trains, basically. And I love steam trains in the game. I love how Dogtail Games have created the steam trains so far. Um, but there's only two steam trains in the game. Now, this is also going on to adding more steam locomotives wherever I've added it. Uh, yeah, yeah, second bullet point. And more steam locomotives. Because there's only two on the game, and I think adding them would be real cool. Yeah, it would be, I don't know, what's the price of... If my internet wants to work. So say... I haven't downloaded these yet because that that will come on to my in in a sec. So say I don't know. Add a steam locomotive for twelve quid or say, or something. Just add it into the game, or even have a new route for I don't know thirty quid or something. I would love to see that come to the game. Um, I'm gonna now I'm gonna show. Well, there's been photos popping up and about the steam trains that could be added or the different locomotives that could be added. Um, don't know how difficult it is to get a locomotive into the game, but I would love to see that happen. Um, so the, even this, like the Flying Scotchman, Scotsman, sorry, Flying Scotsman, the 414 Big Boy, even adding that, adding a new route, the, I was saying that technically you've already got that route, technically, I think. Uh, this one here, Sherman Hill, the 414, I, I believe, um, yeah, Wyoming um, went on that hill, was running on that hill when it was in service. So technically you've already got it. If you, Maybe even you can extend the line to accommodate that. Um, the Mallard, Cock of the North, uh, King Edward II, uh, Duchess of Hamilton, Tornado, Evening Star. You know, famous British or 
Now, American locomotives, even Chinese locomotives, they were amazing. Or Canadian locomotives. i love to see that. Now, the next bullet point is train saving configurations. Okay, so what I mean by this is if I go into creation club this is where i don't really agree with what they've done here dovetail games because in trains in world 2 you'd go on to say i don't know to the trains choose a route then it'll if you pick on say spirit of steam it'll come down with all the um scenarios that's that's what this game lacks if you have to go into creation club then go into the scenario planner then click it is, is a little bit of an annoying, but I can see why they've done it. Uh, let's go into, where is it? Canyon Pass. Great route, by the way. This one here, actually, no. Did I save it? Oh, I didn't save it, I don't think. I should have. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, so what do I mean by saving configurations where it done it so this is on canyon pass like i said creating this this is what i mean so if i and this is a livery that i created because for some reason the creation club doesn't want me to download anything liveries or anything so yeah not too bad so this is what i mean so this is a four a five coacher yeah five coacher on top of a 10 coach which was mine originally so i would love to be able to save that as a configuration and have it if i just save that because i'll pretty drive that later on save again because uh then home screen And then come into here, go into trains, go into route and say Great Western Railway timetable and have it say, I oh, don't know, have it here, have it one of these, say have a slot here with custom configuration and have it as a one, of the, say a picture of that and have it here, say. That would that would make the game a little bit more better, I think. Having the custom configurations in the game or not just steam, uh, diesels or electrics. Or I, sorry, I shouldn't say electrics, I should say EMUs. That means electrical, um, el hang on. Yeah, electric mul multiple unit or something. Um, so yes, that's what I mean by saving configurations. Uh, so adding speedometers into the 6P and 8F steam locomotives. Currently, they do not have any speedometers. I'll show you by, if I go into creation, actually Canyon Pass, go back into here. This is what I mean. And I'll show you once it wants to load. So... And have it say here where my cursor is right here because that's roughly where they would be because at the moment all there is is the steam pressure which let's say the brake pressure the vacuum uh pounds per square inch here and another that's the steam pressure so that's that's why you can hit well you can't hear it but yeah, so that's the safety is going off because it's over the red line. So that's what I mean by speedometers, having it in steam locomotives, because none of them have them at the minute. But the, at, still, it is a great locomotive. I'm not dissing the game at all. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so, so I've gone through that one. Next one is adding HST Creation Club. It was on their list to do, I believe, but at the minute it's still not. Now, it would be one of these here. I would love to the HST to be actually on here. 
but is not. Slightly annoying, but there we are. Because there's liveries like, um, just trying to think now, the Blue Pullman or stuff, stuff, liveries like that. If they can add it finally to the game, that would be amazing. Um, adding more electric plus diesel lo locomotives to the tr uh, games, a class 220, class 800 Hitachi or class 158, uh, which runs on the Cornish main line. I know you've got the 150 on here already, but it would be nice to have some more lo smaller locomotives added to the game. That goes through the smaller um, steam locomotives like the tank engines. I would love to see that come to the game. Um, here's one, uh, an option to buy original liveries from the shop category. So what I mean by this is going, to, when you go into store, there should be like a category. Uh, so say routes, locomotives, there should be another one saying liveries. So what World Warship Legends has got, they've got, you can buy, um, camouflages, stuff like that. So this is what I mean by having the Blue Pullman or the Intercity or, you know, liveries like that. Like that would, I don't know, put them up for a five reach or something or two quid each. I don't know how much it will it'll be worth to make, but it was as a company, Dovetail, you would still make money. Um... Extending the Cornish Main Line, I've gone through that, Plymouth, and true to Falmouth, the, the small line. So you've already got the St. Earth to St. Ives line. But adding the Falmouth, true to Falmouth line would be really cool. I would love to see that come to the game. Um, adding the HST Railhead Scanning, I think it's the Scanning Train. There's a picture up here of it. Um, because you've already got the Rail Cleaning train the class 66 that'll be in locomotives uh if i can find it here no i can't find it but there is a, a dlc they can buy that goes around cleaning the the track which is really cool so if you can add the I think it's a scanning train. I'm not too sure. Um, adding the HST blue, blue Pullman. I've already gone through that. And the last thing is adding the camera option to sit in the passenger seat while moving. So what I mean by this is... Let's just hop into Canyon Pass a sec. Give me a sec. So what I mean by adding a camera option... Say on the keyboard. Because I use keyboard. So you've got one... Two, three, so three is at the back, four does nothing, as you can see, four, five does nothing, six does nothing, seven, eight does the, was that nine? Yes, yeah, so eight does the ca passing camera, and zero, uh, nine goes onto the route map. So if you can add it as, say, I know, one of these that, that I said, that would be real cool. As you can see, the train is a long one. But, yeah, adding a speedometer right here would be amazing. So that's my opinion on the improvements that Dovetail Games could make to the game. Obviously, I know it's going to take time and effort to put these into the game. But at the end of the day, it's making the game better. And I think, I think personally, Dovetail Games will still make a hell of a lot of money from this. So really, this is a win-win situation. You put stuff into the game, you get money for it. So stuff like the routes, like, um, what was it, Canyon Pass or something, or Train, Train Sim World 3 was one of the top bought games on Steam when it first came out. So it's a very, very popular game. It's definitely topped my popular game. It was World Warship Legends, but that has died now. The game is just rubbish. So I play not a lot. So this is my top game now. 
So yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you like what I'm doing. I hope this was informative, but not too um, saying you've got to do this. It's just improvements that I think the game could do. And and I'm not dissing the game. I'm not dissing what um, Dovetail Games development team. They've done an amazing job with this game so far. But every game has room for improvements. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.